all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and liveware application and in this video we'll be working on pagination over here so also i will be sharing the issues that i have gone through while working with pagination so let's get started so let me go to list users .blade.php file and and after this card body let's create one new div with the class of card footer and over here let's do let's use default pagination users links okay we are not doing anything with liveware so this is liveware default pagination so by default let's go to list users component class and let's go to the end and by default laravel uses paginate value of 15 so let's reduce it to 5 for now and let me refresh the page here we see the five results and we see this previous and next button over here also the issues we see are this weird design issue uh, the first one and the second one is if i click on next we are refreshing the page over here and the third main issue is see we are on page two and if i click on edit over here you see this data if i click on edit then we are back to page one if i save changes yeah we don't see that old data and if i click on next over here then we see the weird issue this one so we don't want to do this so to fix this we need to use liveware with pagination trait so let's head over to list users to php component class and let's use that trait use with pagination let's import the namespace okay now let's go back and refresh this page again now if we click on next yeah page is not refreshing and if we click on edit we uh, we see the same data over here right this is perfectly fine now the final issue is this weird design so by default liveware uses tailwind css for this design so we don't want tailwind css as we are using admin lta theme which is built on top of bootstrap so let's use that bootstrap theme so to use bootstrap theme simply we need to add one protected property called pagination theme calls to bootstrap okay refresh the page again yeah perfect we see the bootstrap designed to pagination so let's take this pagination over here so that it will easy to navigate i think so let's add a class display of flex and justify content to the end yeah now we, now the pagination is working perfectly fine now another is if we create a new component class called list appointments we need to do the same okay so let's do let's create a component class psp audition make me a liveware component which is inside of admin appointments and list appointments okay yeah this component class is created so let's head over to list components sorry list appointments so we need to do the same over here called use with pagination trait and protected pagination theme to bootstrap yeah we need to import the namespace as well yeah for a few of the component class this is fine but if we are creating lots of components then this seems tedious for me so let's create our own component class 
on main component class so let's head over to http liveware admin and let's create a new file called let's say admin component okay now let's do namespace of app http liveware and admin okay there's class of admin component which will be extending from liveware component okay liveware component let's import this class and over here let's go to list users and let me copy this section list and paste it over here and let's import this treat okay now inside of list users let's remove this from here yep and we don't need this as well so first let me refresh the page yep it is already broken and instead of using the component instead of extending from the main Liveware component, let's extend from our own admin component. Okay, let's import this and we don't need this as well. Now, now let's refresh the page again. Yeah, we are back to the original state and everything is working perfectly fine. Yes, now and if we create a new component class, we don't need to add those, we simply remove it and extend this extend from admin component and let's import this and we don't need live work component it's as admin component is extending the main live work component so i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you in the next video